back with Lights in the City, and I have Cameron Payne with me. So you just wrapped up with Don't Wake Up, Keep Dreaming Weekend. How is that important to you? Because I know you do it every year on your birthday weekend. Um, it's just it's just big time uh, to, to give back to the kids. Um, it's just something that I didn't get to do growing up. Uh, so I just want to be able to give kids the opportunity uh, to be around NBA players, um, be around, you know, um, earlier at lunch, we had a speaker, uh, Brandon Porter. Um, it's just a lot of good people uh, to give their testimony to the younger kids. So they would hear stories and just hear examples of stuff that people's been through. And they can come out and not go or through the same path and just really an opportunity to motivate them, motivate them to, you know, play basketball, play football, be a doctor, just give them the tools that that, that I didn't get. Um, so it's just always big time for me to give back and let people see everything that I'm doing in the community. And the participation is growing every year. I've mm -hmm. seen it because I came out last year for yep. the camp as well. What did you guys do in addition to the camps? I know you usually do NDBs and a lot of charities and giveaways. What did you guys do this year? Um, we, we had the bowling event um, uh, last night. It was a great turnout. Uh, Penny came, uh, brought the whole his whole team, whole University of Memphis team. Um, Big stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, Rodney Hood was there. Terrence Davis, uh, my teammate, uh, he came through. Uh, we gave a lot of stuff. We had a lot of au auction items. Uh, but it's it's all about just fellowshipping, just the gathering, just being around, just having a good time. Um, like I said uh, before, I'm all about giving back. I just want to see people um, see what I what I have done and what I am doing currently. And uh, once again, I mean, it, it's just bringing people together. I, I'm going to keep saying it, and I'm going to preach on that. Um, I'm a big family guy. And uh, everybody that helped help me during this thing, they're all my family. And uh, I appreciate them. Um, and it, it was a great turnout. Like today, we had the camp from 9 to 6. Like, right. it was a long time. Uh, but everybody came in and had a good time. They came and worked their tail off. And the weekend, it's just all about the community. And uh, I, I love the fact that I do that. Uh, my, my family, they helped me put it on, and I appreciate it. You have a lot of support, and you spoke of your teammates. So you're going into a big year yep. with trading and signing a two-year contract with the Raptors and Toronto. So congratulations on that. Thank you. How are you preparing mentally and physically for that? Because they just came off of the championship. Yeah, um, I, I'm blessed, <laughs> for one. I'm blessed for that opportunity. Uh, but I'm, I'm thankful that they gave me that opportunity. Uh, this summer has been one of the roughest summers I've ever had. Uh, Technically, I was out of a job. I, I wasn't on the NBA team. Uh, Cleveland, after my second 10-day, I didn't play for a team. And uh, one thing I did, I moved back here. I moved back home. And uh, it was all about putting the work in to get back into the NBA. Uh, I grinded so hard. I grinded so hard this summer, and it showed. Um, I got the opportunity uh, to play with the Mavericks for Summer League. Had a great summer league, and that all attested to me working hard. Had all attested to me working hard. I'm, I'm healthy, I'm not hurt, and I just feel good. My confidence is back, I'm having fun. And taking that into Toronto, uh, they the champions. <laughs> they got the target on their back, and I'm glad to be on that team. Uh, they're a great group of guys. I got Lausanne alumni with me, uh, Mark. <laughs> he on the team, and uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be a great year. Great year for me, and once again, like I say, I'm blessed and I'm thankful for the And with that, you said that this was the roughest year mm -hmm. for you. So, with all of those things going on, what gave you that extra push to say, "I'm not going to take no for an answer, and I'm going to keep trying"? Because like basketball is what I live for. Basketball is what I do, and um, it's a dream for me. Like DWKD, like I don't, I, I don't want to not be in the NBA, and I don't want it to be because. I didn't go hard enough. I don't want to look back 10, 20 years from now and say, man, I wish I would have worked out harder. Like, I want to be able to tell my son in the future or my daughter in the future, like, I did everything I could. I do not want to say I didn't. And uh, that's, that's the main thing. That's the main thing I strive for every day is just to go hard, be the best guy I can be. And that is so powerful. So going into this next season and 
what is your main focus and your main goal for yourself that you're setting for you? Uh, my, my main goal is just, one, be healthy. Stay healthy. Be healthy, yeah. Stay healthy. Uh, no and two, injuries. No injuries. <laughs> no injuries. But two, just show everybody that I'm back, that I'm back and I'm balling. That's it. Back and balling. Back and balling. That straight from Cameron Payne. And we are so excited for you on this new journey. And you guys, make sure that you keep up with him on the season and stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.